hi guys, it's Inamika4 here with the Samsung Galaxy S4. We're going to be taking a look at the high definition TV adapter from Samsung for this handset. And as you can see along the front of the packaging here, this outputs at 1080p, 60 frames per second. Now you can pick this up here in the UK for about £26-27 and in the States it's about $36-37. So let's see what you get out of the box when you, you purchase this. So that's pretty much it, get rid of the box. And underneath, here we go, we have a, a manual. Look how thick that is, but obviously you've got the various languages there. French, English, German, Turkish, Romanian, that sort of thing. I would recommend that you keep it just for a reference, just in case. So we'll leave that to one side there. And anything else along the back? Nope. So let's have a look. This is obviously the adapter itself. So we'll leave that there. And this is the ferret core. Up close, you can essentially see that this ferret core will just wrap around the cabling of the HD TV adapter just to reduce any possible electromagnetic interference that may occur. So all you do, essentially wrap it around and it clicks in like so and as you can see along the one side here you've got a micro usb cable that goes into the bottom of the galaxy s4 handset along the other side of the adapter here you've got a hdmi port as you can see which goes off towards the tv and along this side you've got a micro usb port just to cater for external power so you can charge your device while using it as well and before i move over to the tv i just want to plug in the TV adapter here to the Galaxy S4 handset and plug in the HDMI lead from the TV into this adapter here and just show you on its own it doesn't power the handset as you can see there but if I put it down and then plug in the power source into this uh, HD TV adapter there it should start powering the Galaxy S4 handset and we should see on the notifications bar there once that focuses in that it is actually charging the handset. Moving across to my TV here and you can see the HD TV adapter is still connected. The Galaxy S4 is still being charged via this lead from my computer and the TV is connected via this HDMI cable here. So if I just switch inputs from the TV to the Galaxy S4, we should see exactly what's on the screen of the Galaxy S4 on my TV monitor in the background there. So let's see how fast this is in swiping through the various home screens. As you can see, I haven't got a lot of information on those, but it is very quick indeed. Going into the app drawer, back in again, it's almost instant. I'm gonna say less than a second delay from when you press the buttons. Again, when we're in the applications drawer, I haven't got very many screens at all, but going into the folders, going back out again it's very quick indeed as you'd expect from a device outputting at 60 frames per second so let's see how it handles video and let's take a look at a movie trailer i've got here for despicable me and once it starts playing oh look notice it doesn't actually play the media on the handset itself it starts playing it straight on the tv and let's see if the volume still is controllable from the galaxy s4 handset yeah you can see the volume it Still controls oh, from the handset, and let's see if we can fast forward or we'll tap through it. For example, how good does that look? That does look good. That's why we brought you. That's going to be a good film. I need to check that out. Let's have a look at another trailer I've got here for Pain and Gain, I think it is. Let's tap through it. Now I'm with seven honeys of which I can choose from. Oh my god, this guy understands. Nap a guy and take his things. Sure we can. Look how detailed that looks. We deserve bad shit to happen to him. Come on, man, what the fuck did you do that for? Okay, I need to read the manual. I don't figure it out. Oh, here, you take it. Do something bad. Maybe a little. I got my toe. You can see the bone. Let's come out of that, and that looks like a funny film as well. So let's take a look at a photograph or two. Here's a screenshot that we had previously with in-game footage. Look how good that comes through there on the Galaxy S4. I do like that a lot. So let's go back. Another photograph. How awesome does that look in terms of detail? Very detailed indeed. Don't even ask why I took a picture of a monkey, but and they're comparing it to Steve Jobs. So let's see if we can turn this around. And does it rotate it on the screen? Yes, it does. Look how good that is. 
unfortunately the photo is taken at a 90 degrees so that's why that looks like that let's see how music plays for instance on this uh, so let's go into a music application and let's see Ooh, Jay Z album let's have a look I'm just going to turn the volume up on the actual TV turn the music up in the headphones Tim, you can go and brush your shoulder off, nigga. I got you. Uh, uh, yeah. If you feeling like a pimp, nigga, go and brush your shoulders off. Ladies is pimps too, go and brush your shoulders off. Niggas is crazy, baby, don't forget that boy told you kid. Notice how it still plays the music from the Galaxy S4, even though I pressed the power button to put the f screen to sleep there. And the volume is still controllable while the screen is asleep. So the volume's now down. That's awesome, so we'll just power that back up again. Swap to go through. And what we'll do, just pause that there, come out of this, and let's take a look at some gameplay. Here we have Sonic the Hedgehog 1 on the Galaxy S4, and despite me removing the cable from the power source on the HD TV adapter, it's still streaming the content from the handset to the TV in the background there. So I'm just going to see how well it plays while it's paired with a PS3 controller. Check out the links down in the description if you want to know how to pair up a PS3 controller with your Galaxy S4 handset. So let's have a look. Button still working as I would expect. I am going to say there is a little bit of a delay because I'm pressing X and it doesn't do it straight away. I'll just put down the controller for a second, bring in the S4 handset, put up the volume a little bit, see how good the controls work on screen. I've got the opacity turned down so you may not see them at all, so let's have a look. How good do the graphics look for a was this late 80s, early 90s? I can't really remember when it was made, but for a game that was made way back then when they didn't even have high definition available. We're in Dead Trigger at the moment. Look how awesome the graphics look. Am I out of bullets actually? Oh, no, that was a close one. I'm trying to play through the TV screen and the phone at the same time, but it's not working. So let's just keep to the phone but I can't help looking at the TV because it looks absolutely awesome on a HD TV, as you would expect. It's like having a joypad in your hand. Moving across to the PS3 controller here, and it does feel a lot more intuitive in your hands than the, the smartphone, and the gameplay is even better for it, just purely because the joysticks feel a lot better in your hand than a touch screen of a smartphone, even though the smartphone itself is of great size just to hold in your hands but look how good the graphics look on this hd screen you would never have thought it that this has been streamed from a smartphone here we are in vice city grand theft auto and it does look a little bit pixelated on this high definition screen being streamed from the galaxy s4 handset you can see i'm playing it via the ps3 wireless controller Again, as I say, links will be in the description if you want to know how to pair up the controller. But look how good that looks on this high-definition screen. Not the best I've seen ever because it is pixelated. It's not really meant for big screens, but... Ooh, I'm a sucker for cars like that. And if you can just press select, the camera angles do still move even in this view here. The right joystick cycling through the characters, 360 degrees of view as you can see there, and we'll see if we can get into this car. And look at it go, X to go through. That does look very good indeed, especially the soundtrack coming through the speakers of the HD TV as well, it does look and sound awesome. Coming out to the games, and I just wanna show you web browsing via Chrome on the Galaxy S4, and it's as we've seen with the previous media, whatever's on the screen of the Galaxy S4 is streamed to the HD TV in the background there. But if we turn the S4 into landscape mode here, it's almost as if it was made to be shown on a bigger TV in the background there. Look how good those vibrant colors look in that photograph there. And the amount of detail shown is absolutely awesome. Coming through and being streamed from the Galaxy S4, almost been used as a controller rather than a media device itself here.
when it's connected to a HD TV. And that's been a look at the HD TV adapter from Samsung using the micro high definition link cable here. Any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and a lot what you saw. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you a penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And we'll see you next time.